Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. A lot of news to go over today. So the best thing you can do to help this video do well, stick around for the entire thing. Thanks to everyone who does and uh, quickly a little self-promotion. I post another Instagram photo. It's me as a young kid. Uh, you'll probably get your heartstrings pulled a little bit. It's about uh, my dogs passing away. But my point is, uh, go follow me on Instagram. Go see the photo. A little bit behind the scenes rush. Trying to make my way slowly and surely to 70,000 followers. So I appreciate the follow. And of course, I know I never talk about it, but please like the video. I know I always never ask you guys to, but maybe today you could do it for me. I'm kidding. I always say it. <laughs> you probably hate hearing the word like I say it so much. Let's get to the video. All right. First off is I didn't do a video on the uh, the new update, the 10.4.1. I did wake up. I set an alarm. I woke up. I read the patch notes. It just wasn't enough for one video. I'm going to quickly review it. I'll do it in like one minute because I'm sure most of you guys know what's going on. First one I'll mention is the out of time, the overtime mission uh, challenges are coming soon, October 8th. Uh, uh, yeah, October 8th at 9 a.m. Eastern and it goes till October 13th, which means yes, uh, the season X has been extended. Uh, we may be almost out of time, but we're just not out yet. We're not out just yet. Season X has been extended a week. Gotham City and the Batman Caped Crusader Pack will be available until the end of Season X. So the Batman deal continues. Uh, this is actually really bad news for me. I got to be honest. I have a, uh, I'm going on a little weekend trip to Toronto uh, on these exact days. I, I planned it around the announced end of C or the unannounced, but in the files, uh, I planned a trip. It's, it's Canadian Thanksgiving. So... Apparently I'm missing the event, which is supposed to be on Saturday, the live event. And then the update, the new season is Sunday. I have never missed a new season. I don't even think I've missed a, a, an update ever, right? W without staying up uh, for one of the big updates. So I'm a little, a little distraught. <laughs> it sucks, but uh, I think I'll be able uh, with the live event. I won't be live streaming obviously, but I'll post like a, an HD good version on my channel uh, within minutes of the thing coming out. So, so if you want to come back and watch, or if you don't see it live, uh, you can come here for, for a nice, a nice look at that. But other than that, I'll let you know, I might figure something out, record in the hotel, get a video or two up for season X. If not, I am back Monday. So I'll be a day late. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that. I know some of you rely on me for the Fortnite news and I want you to, so that's my apologies. Uh, zone wars. This is a big one. Uh, Desert Vortex Coliseum and Downhill River have been consolidated into two LTM playlists. Uh, one is a party mode where you can just party up with as many as you want. And then the other is a solo mode. So it's a real free for all experience. This is a really good move by them. Uh, thank you for keeping Zone Wars. I absolutely love Zone Wars. It's gotten me re-addicted to this game. And, uh, and I think they have more things they can do with it. I'm actually going to quickly switch over to uh, a tweet from Hypex. Uh, yo, Eric Williamson, uh, I believe design lead at Epic Games, uh, important guy at Epic Games. If you'll keep Zone Wars till the next season, please make it if someone leaves first and second game that they get a ready up cool down for four to eight minutes because people be leaving a lot. And I completely agree, man. Please, just uh, only game one and two. It's so, f I love the first game because there's so many people in it and it, uh, it simulates a, an end zone a lot better. Uh, so yeah, I think there should be some little punishment for leaving early, uh, just, just so the quality of the game c uh, for each round can, can stay high, right? I, I don't know. Is that a bad idea? I like the idea a lot. So let me know what your thoughts are on it. And then of course with the, the, the zone wars there. So, so I guess in the party mode, teaming is not illegal. I know teaming's frustrating. That was a big part of it, but teaming's not illegal. If you play with your party, uh, you can team, uh, but the point is now there is a spot to go do some competitive solo. Uh, I think that's a good, good start, a good way to do it. And unvaulted the flint knock pistol. This weapon is back. Uh, one of the more balanced weapons I think in the game. Uh, and yeah, it, it's an exciting weapon to, to be unvaulted. All right, let's move on here. One little, uh, I guess little secret from the, the update. From a hype back, sadly I can't post an image, but do you know the old Tilted Towers red building in the corner next to the lake? Well, in this update they removed the West cowboy version of it and added the OG one back. Weird. And uh, and there should be an image on your screen just to, to remind you of what that building looked like. So, 
this uh, potential hints, right? Potential hints at, at, at maybe next season. The, the big debate next season is the new map. Is it going to be a new map? Uh, a lot of theories are saying maybe it's going to be the same map, but a uh, like the same layout of the map, but different POIs everywhere. Uh, I'm definitely thinking at least that because of all the POIs that were leaked, right? We From about a month ago, we had about 10 new POI names uh, that were added to the files. And, and then now, so, so I just don't know though, now that with an OG Tilted Towers building coming back, maybe Tilted Towers will be the one thing that, that stays the same or, or goes back to its former self and then we get a bunch of new stuff. That'd be cool too. Uh, so I don't know exactly what this means, but it happened. I thought I'd let you know and let me know what your thoughts are uh, down in the comments section. And uh, while I was at class before filming today's video, there was a massive, massive announcement by Fortnite with a lot of uh, very cool information. The first one is just about the season extension, uh, which we've already talked about, obviously. Uh, so it does end uh, Sunday, October 13th. This is the first time that a season has ended on a Sunday. So we think the relationship between the event and the season transition is going to be different than we're used to. What that difference is, I don't know, but we'll, we'll find out. The new matchmaking system. Uh, so far, we've rolled out the new matchmaking system to select regions for solo and duos. Uh, and, and, oh, and duos is expected to arrive later this week. So solo mode so far is the only one uh, that, that SBMM, skill-based matchmaking, has been implemented into with the rollout we've seen a lot of discussion about potentially unfair competitive advantages from pooling players together across platforms and input devices the new matchmaking system however accounts for various skill levels across different platforms and control inputs and groups players of similar skill levels together our goal with the new system is to create fairer matches for all of our players which includes special considerations for each platform this means that where small similar skill exists Players may be paired against opponents from all platforms, whether they're using mouse and keyboard, controller, or touch input, closely monitoring the analytics, and they'll make adjustments as they go. And on top of the, uh, on the topic of smurfing, which we discussed in the previous video, we've seen the discussion around player smurfing as a way to have easier matches. Smurfing is a bannable offense. It's official. They've said it. We see a bunch of negative behavior that occurs with smurfing and issues with gameplay integrity. If we see consistent reports and perceive that you are negatively impacting other players' experiences, we will take appropriate action. So, a lot to unpack there. First, let's start with the smurfing because that was to do with Aiden got 42, 40 kills in uh, in a less skilled lobby, right? In the, in the thousand points, 2000, whatever it was. And uh, yeah, and this is officially bannable. But but keep in mind their wording here because people still have to rank up an account, right? Like if I have, if I make another account or if, uh, I don't know, if someone, or if I want to have a new name or just a fresh reset, uh, I still have to rank my account back up. So that wouldn't be necessarily smurfing. It would be creating that account for the purpose of staying at low points and slaying out, which, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't really find the, the fun in it because with this game, especially right now for me, I want to be, when I'm playing this game, I'm trying to get better. And I don't think smurfing helps at all with, with that. Uh, and yeah, so skill-based matchmaking, you may notice it, you may have noticed it in solos, uh, but it hasn't even touched duos yet. I was actually going to, someone did some, uh, some analyzing, like a, a big data collection of his past like 100 games on uh, all the different skill levels in the lobbies and stuff, uh, all the players. But, so I was going to talk about that and, and see what this new system was like, but then I found out the system wasn't actually fully implemented. So this poor guy might have collected a lot of data uh, from a, a matchmaking system that hadn't actually changed yet. So we will touch on that. I'd love to get the details of how they balance matchmaking, right? How, what, is, what is the skill? What are they looking at? KD, seasonal KD, lifetime KD, wins, um, time alive, right? There's so much to look at. Let's move on here though, bots. As we previously mentioned, we're adding bots as a way to help players improve their skill level. Before they are added, we want to take the opportunity to answer some questions. What happens with spectating if I'm defeated by a bot? Instead of viewing the bot that defeated you, you will view another remaining player. And if you are the last remaining human player, the, the match will end. So you'll know if you die to a bot because it'll, it'll switch to somebody else. I wonder if it'll say in chat was killed by bot. <laughs> That might hurt the ego a little bit. I don't know how secret they'll keep it. Will I be able to party up with bots? No, uh, we are not currently planning to support this. Can bots use vehicles or do 90s? Not yet, but
but in the long term we're looking to see how far we can push our bots so uh, remember they can do 90s just not in the public version of bots we've seen a bot that they created do 90s uh like two seasons ago can i play a match entirely against bots we're looking into a verse bot mode as a means to sharpen your skill explore the map and help elevate your game to the next level that'd be actually kind of fun they used to have that in call of duty black ops and uh, uh, me and the me and the guys created some fun fun little mini games. Try and try and kill as many bots in this amount of time type of thing. It was it was fun. What about bots in creative mode? Bots will not be in creative. This is something we will consider for our roadmap. So that's all the stuff on bots. This one's pretty important though. This is the last part of their the the thing they touch on here. Our last part of this big blog post. It's to do with the combine and the new controller settings and then some keyboard mouse stuff. Can I go back to leg legacy sensitivity settings for my controller? You do have this option to revert back to your previous settings, but we strongly encourage everyone to give the new settings a try. If they feel off, you can copy, you can try copying over your legacy settings. To do this, navigate to controller settings, turn on use advanced options, and scroll down to select copy legacy settings. If we make further adjustments or alter our plans, we'll let you know. And uh, yeah, if you're struggling with it, but you're trying to get better, uh, I'm not a controller player, but I, I have heard this exact same thing. Um, the people who are good with controller are, are liking this, right? Like they they have very good aim, but it's a skill thing. You, you, you do got to work on it. You're not just going to have aim bot with this, uh, with this new patch. So uh, even I've been, I got some, some friends who've said they, they, they're not liking it. I'm sticking to legacy, but you got to go for it, man. You, it's going to be annoying for like a week, but once you figure it out, uh, I think it'll jump you up a level. Is there any news on control adjustments for keyboard and mouse players? We know many of you are playing on keyboard and mouse. We're also discussing opportunities to improve control settings for all of you. As an example, we are currently exploring an option that would allow keyboard mouse to adjust build and edit sensitivities. Man, here we go. The keyboard mouse getting some love too. I like it. Again, that, that and, and I got to heed my own advice because that'll be weird to me. Once, once that comes, that'll be so weird, but I know it can be very advantageous, right? Slow, especially me, Shake, shaky braid, and everyone knows I'm the shakiest guy in the world. Uh, I, I need a, the lower sensitivity for my shot, probably the better, but I gotta keep it at a certain certain height, right? Certain level so that I can still build quickly and, uh, and edit quickly. So that'll be nice. And then the last thing is the combine is sticking around as a more permanent uh, mode as it's a good way to improve your skills, and I agree. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a lot to talk about, a lot of talking, but a lot of good info. I'll keep you updated with what my plan is for season X. I'll let you know and uh, I'll keep you updated. There should be another video tomorrow if a little bit of news comes out. I got, I got some stuff to talk about and I appreciate you sticking around watching the videos. I'm excited for the live event. You know I'll be watching. I just won't be filming it or live streaming it unfortunately. But hey, what, what can you do man? This stuff happens and uh, it's out of my control. So take care. Talk soon. Make sure to subscribe. Code the camp and rusher. Goodbye.